Hey, what is up everybody? Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. Before the July 2021 Newark Liberty International Airport update commences, I just want to give you guys a quick update on what is going to happen with the channel over the course of August and September 2021. So basically, uh, mid to late August and early September 2021, I'm going to be inactive because I'm going to be traveling with family. So uh, basically, I'm going to pre-record the August 2021 airport update, and I'm also going to uh, see what I can do with NG and Gemini's August 2020 releases. Uh, so those are still gonna come out as uh, usual, but the quality may not be as good or uh, it may be rushed depending on what happens with uh, the releases and the airport update. But um, yeah, that being said, let's get on to the Newark Liberty International Airport July 2021 airport update. Starting off this airport update, we have this Lufthansa A330-300. This is in their new livery. He's pushing back for a flight out to Frankfurt. And yesterday he came in from his normal flight from Frankfurt. Here at gate S7 or Sierra 7, we have this Delta 737-800, this is in their normal livery. Earlier today, he came in from Atlanta, and in around an hour, he'll be pushing back for his return flight out to Atlanta. Pulling into gate S9 or Sierra 9 is a Spirit A320 Neo. He just came in on a charter flight from Atlantic City, and later today, he'll be heading out on his normal schedule out to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. Here on the taxiway, we have this United 777-300ER. This is in the Blue Evolution slash new livery. He's heading into maintenance after getting this new Blue Evolution livery painted onto him. Pulling into gate S12 or Sierra 12 is this United 787-9 Dreamliner. This is in the Blue Evolution slash new livery. He came in from Milan Malpensa Airport and later this evening, he is going to be heading out to Tokyo Narita. Taxing out to the runway here is this Delta Connection, CRJ 900. He came in from Minneapolis earlier today, and now he's taxing out to the runway for his return flight out to Minneapolis. Here at the mainline slash regional stands, we have three aircraft, but starting off with the aircraft at the top, we have this United Express Embraer ERJ 175 in the old livery. He came in from Nashville earlier today, and later today, he'll be loading up passengers for flight out to Columbus, Ohio. And moving on, here we have this United 737-800. This is in the Blue Evolution slash new livery. This morning, he came in from San Jose del Cabo. And tomorrow morning, he'll be heading out for a flight out to Winston-Salem. And moving on, here we have this United 737-700. This is in the Continental slash old livery. Earlier today, he came in from Portland. And later today, he'll be heading out for a flight carrying tourists to Orange Stad. Pushing out of mainline stand S19 or Sierra 19, we have this United 757-200. This is in the Her Art Here, New York, New Jersey livery. He's pushing back for a flight out to Reykjavik Keflavik. And earlier today, he came in on a flight from San Francisco. Waiting for the Delta CRJ 900 to taxi, we have this United 737-700. This is in their Blue Evolution slash new livery. Before uh, pushing back for his flight out to Bogota. He came in from Providenciales. Here we have this Scandinavian Airlines SAS AT3300. The reason why he's in the cargo stands is because he's bringing in vaccines and PPE from Copenhagen. Uh, and then after that, he is just going to head out on an empty flight going back to Copenhagen. Now, this is the last SAS AT3300 flight to Newark for, uh, about the rest of the year, the next time SAS is going to operate the AT30 to Newark is going to be in November 2021. So for the rest of the year, they'll be operating A350s via Oslo and Copenhagen to Newark. So yeah, this SAS A330 is going to cargo stand C4. Just pulled into cargo stand C2 or Charlie 2. We have this cargo jet 767 300 freighter. He came in from Hamilton, Ontario, and a few days from now, he'll be heading back out to Hamilton, Ontario. That being said, that does conclude this airport update. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn the notification bell to notify videos, and comment down below what you thought of this video. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.